Hi there. Uh, in this video, I will uh, focus on the difference between the residual term and the error term. Before I discuss what is the main difference between the two, uh, I would like to uh, show you population regression function as well as sample regression function. Now, as you know, population regression function is given by uh, the equation that you see here y i is equal to beta naught plus beta i summation i varies from 1 to k x i plus mu i where y is the dependent variable say for example consumption beta naught is the intercept term or constant of the regression beta i's are the regression coefficients x i's are the explanatory or independent variables in this equation mu i is the random error term now Contrary to the population regression function, there is a sample regression function. Now, there is a little bit difference between the two. Sample regression function is given here in this slide and uh, it is equal to y i is equal to beta naught hat plus beta i hat. Summation i varies from 1 to k x i plus e i. In this equation, y i is the dependent variable beta naught hat again is the constant or intercept of the regression beta i hats are the regression coefficients x i's are the independent or explanatory variables here instead of mu i e i uh, is given and uh, in this sample regression function e i is the random error term but in fact this is also called the residual term now what is random error? Random error is also known as statistic disturbance term. It is usually denoted by mu i, epsilon i, v i, e i and so on. And uh, what does it stand for? It basically captures the effects of all those variables or factors which affect the dependent variable but those variables are not included in the model now that is why we know that uh, the error term is unobservable because we may not know about all those variables which affect the dependent variable and even if we assume that we know about all the variables we may not be having data on those variables so we may not include all those variables in the model so that is why we have error term in the model and uh, what is the residual term the residual term is denoted by ei and uh, it is basically actual it is basically equal to the difference between the observed or the actual yi and the estimated or predicted yi and the estimated or predicted yi is given by yi hat in other words in other words, EI is the difference between YI minus YI hat. So that is why I say that EI is observable because we have data on the actual YIs and we also have data on the YI hats because if we put the explanatory variables in the regression equation, then we can get YI hat for all the observation. And uh, if you take the difference of the original or the actual or the observed yi and the predicted or the estimated y that is yi hat, then we get ei. So in that way, ei is observable. Now, before I discuss it further, uh, let me show you how do we write when we estimate the model. Here is an example. This is just a hypothetical example. In this uh, uh, model, estimated model, you see y i hat is equal to 12.5 plus 12.58 x1 plus 10.87 x2 minus 3.x3. Now, you saw earlier there was a constant in both the models in the population regression function and in the sample regression function. In the population regression function, there was beta naught. 
in the sample degradation function there was beta naught hat so this 12.5 is the beta naught hat this is the coefficient of the first independent variable this is the coefficient of the second a variable that is x2 and this is the coefficient of the third variable and the algebraic sign of x3 is negative so it means that uh, x3 variable negatively affects the value of the dependent variable whereas x1 and x2 positively affect the values of uh, the uh, dependent variable now there is a question uh, as i told you that uh, the error term uh, represents all those variables which are not included in the model so when we estimate the model by default the estimated regression output gives us a constant and uh, there is no other meaning of this but the economist usually say that uh, the estimated constant regression the constant of regression reflects the overall average value of all those variables which are not included in this model so this basically this constant 12.5 or the intercept 12.5 in this regression equation reflects the total or average effect of all those variables which are not included in this model so 12.5 is not equal to ei but it is the reflection of the error term now what is the ei or the residual now this estimated equation is equal to y i hat so it means this is the predicted y i or the estimated y i and we also have data on the observed or the actual y i so if you take the difference between y i and y i hat then you get e i and as i told you that uh, e i is basically observable it is observable in the sense that it can be calculated whereas error term is not observable because we don't have data on that okay so in a sense the error term appears in the estimated model in the intercept term whereas the residual term can be computed by subtracting y i hat from y i the actual y i so thus the uh, residual term or the e i is observable we can observe it we can estimate it we can compute it we can calculate it now what is the main difference between the two there is some similarity and some dissimilarity between the two the dissimilarity or the difference between the two is that the error term is unobservable as i told you but the residual term is observable because we can calculate it we can compute it by subtracting the values of y i hat from the values of y i they are similar in the sense because residual residual term may also be used as a proxy for the error term as a proxy for the determinant term so in that sense they are equal to each other uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, this is a brief discussion about the difference between the stochastic determinant term or the error term and the residual term uh, if you uh, have any question you can uh, Uh, you, you can you can you can record your comments um, under this video and uh, kindly subscribe to the channel and uh, click on the icon bell so that you can get notification for my other videos that i will upload later on thank you very much